Hi, my name is Shelly. Uh, grew up in Delhi, pretty much been there all my life. Did a couple of years in the States, but now in Bangalore for the last year, working in a startup as one does when they come to Bangalore. So my journey with healthcare, women's healthcare specifically, uh, started off when I was about 17, 18 years old with PCOS. Uh, had some hyperpigmentation, started getting into what it was and realized it was PCOS. Um, it was hard to come by information which is surprising given that one in four women in India have PCOS um, and anyone that's interacted with someone that has has the disease will know it's a lifestyle disease and there's a lot of ultrasounds, invasive ultrasounds, invasive questions um, that the entire Indian healthcare system sort of just stigmatizes, right? So they, they ask you questions like, are you married? Oh no, you're sexually active. Oh no, how can you get um, an invasive ultrasound when you're supposed to, when you're still not married, right? Alluding to the fact that it's, it's invasive and you're probably a virgin or at least they hope that you are. So. Um, that was my first experience with women's healthcare and having gynecological issues in India and it, it scarred me to the extent that I was like, I never want to do this again, right? So over the next seven, eight years, um, I just never asked for any kind of help. I had undiagnosed pelvic floor issues, PCOS off and on, um, uh, vaginismus and a bunch of other things, right? And this is when like my parents are pretty cool, they would go with me to these appointments. Um, and so just, just didn't have access to it. Fast forward, went to the States, I was there for a few years um, and finally got the help that I needed through university healthcare. And that's when I was like, wow, this is what it probably should be like. Um, so came back to India post-COVID and it was, I decided again that I didn't need any help and I didn't, even if I needed it, I didn't want any help just because I didn't want to go through the trauma of dealing with the healthcare system in India and navigating it, right? Um, but six months ago, I really did need help and so did a quick Google search, chanced upon Proactive for her, walked in and I was like, wow, is this a salon? It's extremely Instagrammable um, and uh, got, was really blown away. Nobody asked me if I was married, nobody asked me if I was sexually active, nobody asked me, people actually asked me what my preferred pronouns were, right, when the nurse took me in to check my vitals. So it was fantastic, saw someone casually sipping blue tokai, uh, it was very much, it was a lot more like a spa in terms of how relaxing the ambience was and how, and how kind the staff was versus a classic hospital and I've been to my fair share of them, right? Um, yeah, so restarted my pelvic floor therapy, I never thought I'd actually do it if I ever come back to India again um, and, and very grateful, I think access to healthcare for women is, is such a universal right um, and it's sad that in India it's so highly stigmatized and women like me feel scared of it despite having, uh, despite on paper really being able to, to navigate through um, the world that it is today, right? So um, highly recommend, take the plunge, give them a call or come by, um, click a couple of photos, it's really cute um, and I hope that it's as helpful for you as it is for me.